Hello Libra and welcome to your love reading for the week October 23rd, 2020. Sorry, I was at to do a, a second start on this one. So I always start with an angel uh, answer card. I leave it till the end to read. It either becomes a part of the reading or it answers a question that you have. So let's get a angel answer card for Libra, please. Um, if this doesn't resonate, please uh, check your rising and your Venus sign, especially. Okay, I don't usually take two cards, but a few other signs got two. And well, why not just go with the flow, right, Libra? So let's get some tarot cards on this. If it does resonate or you enjoy the reading, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you know when I do my videos. Um, I'm normally pretty uh, on target time-wise, but uh, I've had some computer problems. Thank you, Mercury Retrograde. Sorry, Libra. So some love cards for Libra. Seven. Six. Oh. Five. Four. Three. Two. Libra. Love. Libra love. Can I get any more Libra love cards from this deck? This deck only giving me one card, really? Okay. Okay. Ha, ah, Hangman. Hmm. Now keep in mind, the Hangman puts himself in this uh, position. It's a choice. And uh, that light around his little head is, uh, to me, it's like saying, okay, I'm gonna sit here and think for a while. Can I get some uh, cards for love for Libra? Cards for Libra love. Six. Five, four, Libra love, three, two, oh boy, and one. And that sounded like I dropped a half a deck, didn't it, Libra? But these cards are so heavy duty. Oh my goodness gracious. You got the hangman twice. <laughs> I'm not sure. Are you like changing your mind over and over again? Like you just, you know, but you got the ace of cups. So this is like an offer. This is, this is a wonderful love offer. And you got the queen of wands. It, maybe you're dealing with a fire sign. Hmm. Mm -hmm. hmm. Let me just check something. Let's see. Queen of wands, also known as the queen of rods or the queen of staves. <laughs> Depending on which deck you're looking at. I'm going to check something here. So, could be you or could be the other person. Works, likes to be generous and kind. And looks great, but the hangman twice? That's really weird. Here, let's get some clarifier. Can you clarify the hangman twice? And I'm going to have to do a close-up look. Clarifying the hangman twice, please. Can I get another clarification for the hangman, please? And it's a perfect card that just came out, really. Okay, so I'm going to stop that for clarification because you got the judgment card. And this is like saying... You're being called out and things are, this is a real, um, judge, wait, judgment is you, Libra. This is you showing up in your reading. And so to me, this could be just you trying to see both sides of this uh, story. Like you're really deciding, like, do I want this? Do I not want this? What am I doing here? Let's see. Hmm. I'm just looking at the cards upside down, close up. See if anything is hitting me. I don't know. Libra, are you like flip-flopping? Like you think this is a wonderful person? And then you show up in the reading. I'm so sorry, I wanna tell you Libra, I have not needed the book all night I've done most of the readings already. Let's see. Yeah, this is a transformation. A 
it's a fresh start. And, you know, maybe it's time to change, to move forward. Forgive, forget. You've already done the soul searching and now you're moving on. Well, that makes sense. That would explain why you have the hangman twice because you've really been doing some soul searching, really deciding before you offered your cup of love, possibly to the queen of wands, which would be a fire sign. It doesn't have to be a man or a woman, but wow. Wow. Okay. So let's see, is this a, you want to give an outcome card? Can I get an outcome card? If we get the third hangman, I think I'm just gonna turn it off and stop right here because that would be crazy. Okay, okay, so what did you get? <laughs> well, this definitely says a lot right here because you got the, the, the card of confusion. The Seven of Cups, you know, that's like spoiled for choice or just can't make a decision, which definitely speaks to your two hangmen there. And you got the Knight of Cups. So you are offering your, your cup of love. There is there is going to be an offer of the cup of loves. You're going to be working on the relationship because this is working as a team. This is working together. So you really made a decision. So I have to wonder if maybe you guys have a past together. But whatever the past may be, it's all good because you got the Ten of Pentacles in the future. <laughs> but that's because you're going to work together. You really, really thought about this and really focused before you offered your cup of love. It's great. I don't know. I think you did the right thing, Libra, because if you weren't sure, got to go over it and over it and make sure, right? It's perfect. Okay. Can I get a Romance Angel Oracle card for Libra? Six. Five, four, three. I'm going to knock over a card here. <laughs> Two, and one. Ah, Libra, what'd you get? <laughs> Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. See, I think that maybe what happened is like some relationships, like you feel like an attraction to someone and it's inexplicable. You don't know why. But there are other things that just you, you think this is cannot be. There's no way this is the person for me, you know. How could this person be for me? But there's that chemistry. And so you wait and you think about it and you look at it from every angle. But that chemistry always exists. And apparently that chemistry is what you, you know, after all this soul searching makes you say, you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready to work together. Apparently they are too. So, awesome. Awesome. Libra. Okay, what's your cards? Meditation brings answers and not the right time. So, I personally think that not the right time is why you have been like going over and over. And I'll bet you it took a lot of time. I think you've already done all the meditation. And if this relationship is where you've had to go over it twice you know, over and over before you really were ready for this. I think that this is a relationship that you're, you're going to have to meditate and be patient a lot, you know, and it, when it is the right time, it will happen. So awesome. Awesome reading Libra. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget if it resonates, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe and hit the bell notification. Thank you. Bye. Good luck.